hello guys and welcome back to hand coding today in this video we will create this one to one video calling app using react.js and zigo cloud so we all know about react but what is zigo cloud so first of all go to the zigocloud.com so basically zigo cloud is a global communication platform which provides some sdk and api so we can create our own video calling app, chat apps and something like that. Zigo Cloud also provide their UI kit library so we don't actually have to worry too much about UI also. So we can create our video streaming platform or one to one calling platform or any type of platform using Zigo Cloud within just minutes. So let's see how does it looks like and what are the features of our web app. So first of all you can see I can on the mic I can on the video as well I can use this three dot go to settings and check out the input and output devices as well go to the video select this thing as well I can join this room I can also share this link so anyone would be so if anyone like to join my personal room he can or she can join as well click on this join button and you can see all the proper functionality are working correctly so you can share your screen you can share your camera you can share the mic you can go to the three buttons and also go to the settings you can go to this member so you can check out the room members here you can go to this room chat so you can give it something message like hi and it will properly appear to all so let's start creating this so first of all go to the zigocloud.com and click on this sign up button so if you are new user you can go to this sign up and create your own account also if you go to the link in the description section so you'll get the 10,000 free minutes for using this amazing service so you can create your own projects amazing projects without any extra charges just for free so let's start with my first name so I'm gonna add and second would be quote third would be so India is available so I'm gonna add India now iron code at the gmail.com you can use anything as you want now you can verify this you can create your own password check out this two marks and just click on the start your free trial button now after registration you will head back to this dashboard now you can click on this create your project click on this video call and after this scroll down create next you can name anything as you want of your project and then click on start sdk so i've already created this project so just click on here and you can find the app id here and you can also find server secret also so you can use this credentials and this api to use it on your own project now create a folder so i'm naming it something like zigo cloud so zigo cloud underscore chat app you can name anything as you want so chat app open this now open vs code here so i'm open with code process open this now i'm gonna use the react so just install it firstly npm create wheat at the rate latest okay name would be wheat project it actually doesn't matter i'm gonna use react so select the react here select the javascript here and just run these three commands so cd wheat project and pmi it will take some time so let's wait some now run this app so npm run dev okay now you can see let's see how does it looks like okay it's working properly so close this one and start creating this so first of all just clear the unnecessary code we don't want to use in our app so just remove this assets folder okay remove this index.css folder in main.jsx remove this as well because i'm not gonna use this go to app.jsx and remove these three things as well remove this u state remove this 
boiler plate code ok that would be nice now in this source folder create a components folder create three files here so the first would be home page home page dot jsx second would be video page dot jsx third would be a constant constants dot js ok I'll start with the home page dot jsx let's import this as well so I'm gonna use the rafce rafce ok go to the app dot js file and import some things like react router so I'm gonna use react router so install this as well so just close this npmi react router dom after the installation import this thing so i'm importing the create browser router so create browser router and again i'm creating importing another thing as well so router provider from react router dom ok so i'm gonna import the home page here so home page i'm gonna import the video page here so video page now in the app function create a constant name it router and make a router create browser router give it a parenthesis and that would be an array of some objects so the object would be a path and the path would be slash second would be element and the element would be home page ok so I am rendering this component now create another object give it a path something like slash room colon id second would be element the element would be video page ok now after this in the return statement use the router provider now give it some router property router so I have created this router over here so I am just using this router here as prop now let's go to the components folder and go to the home page dot jsx remove this thing and import some things like import use navigate from react router dom and create a use state so const input and set input equals to use state and give it an empty string the second thing would be const navigate equals to use navigate ok that would be a function now const handle click equals to it would be a arrow function so navigate so I'm gonna add a back text here room slash the input so I'm importing the javascript here so input this thing so this thing will appear from this state after this create two things two tags so one would be first would be input type would be text second would be the on change so first of all give it a value something like input second would be an on change event so on change would be e and this e goes to something like set input and give it a property like e dot target dot value value after this give it a placeholder something like enter enter your name ok after this create a button and something like join you can name anything as you want 
Now the on click property would uh, call this function. So I'm copying this and pasting this function over here. Nice. Go to the video page.jsx file. So I'm going I'm going to components in the components video dot video page dot jsx. Remove this thing. Okay. Now import some things. First one would be so go to the Zigo Cloud documentation. Okay, not this. This one. Okay. I'm gonna add a direct link to this page in the description. So make sure to check that out also. So firstly we have to copy this thing and install this thing in our web app. So paste it over here. Go to terminal, paste it, and it will take some time to install. Okay, after the installation, copy this thing. So I'm gonna copy way from here to here. Okay, copy this thing. You can check it out in the documentation as well. So paste it over here. So I'm gonna import some other thing as well. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it over here. The second would be import use params from react router dom so go to this constant job js file and now go to this go to your app go to your project and you can see this two thing over here app id and the second would be service secret so just copy this thing paste it over here so i'm going to create a constant and i'm naming it something like app underscore id equals to this and the second would be const small const would be server server underscore secret equals to this thing so copy the server secret so i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna paste this as a string make sure to make it as a string and make this as numbers okay now we need to export this as well so just export this export and export okay now go to this video page.jsx file import this two things as well so i'm gonna use the app id and second would be server secret okay after this go to this function video page and create some constant as well so i'm gonna create a constant that would be an id and use params would be a function create a constant something like room id equals to this id so i'm gonna use this id here okay now let's remove this constant i'm not gonna use this okay after this we have imported this thing so use this thing here and here so copy this app id paste it over here copy this server secret paste it over here after this we need to change this scenario as well so go to this scenario parameter and remove this thing so i'm gonna make it something like one on one call okay you can check that out all that details on the description or from this documentation so you don't have to worry about that you can see all these things here now in this video page.jsx i'm gonna send a raf something like my meeting so i'm just calling this function i'm just calling this function over this div in this div okay so let's see how does it looks like so npm run dev okay now go to this local host 5173 cross this okay i'm gonna add a parameter so the room name would be anything so i'm gonna add something iron code and join okay why it's not working okay the room id is not defined so let's correct this as well okay we just have to 
correct this so after this room parameter the third parameter would be a date parameter so the date now would be a function and convert this to a string okay after this here you can name anything as you want so i'm gonna add iron coding now let's see how does it looks like on our browser okay you can see it's working perfectly fine let's start it from the new server so i'm gonna add 5173 i'm gonna add a name so iron then join then you can see here i can join this meeting i can stop the camera i can stop this microphone as well and all these features are working properly now using this link other person can also join your room okay message something like hi or anything now a one-to-one -one video calling app is completed in just few minutes thanks to zigo cloud must sign up and check out the documentation link in the description and if you like the zigo cloud you can check out their pricing also now if you like this tutorial make sure to like this video share this video with your friends comment if you have any queries and subscribe for more such amazing content this is Ian Coding signing out. Bye bye.